ಪ್ಯಂಗಾ ವಾಣಶ್ಚಕ್ಷುಶ್ರೋತ್ರಮಥ ಬಲಮಿಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೌಪನಿಷದ ಮಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕುರ್ಯಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರಾಕರೋದ ಅನಿರಾಕರಣಮಸ್ತ್ವನಿರಾಕರಣ ಮೇ ಅಸ್ತು ತದಾತ್ಮನಿ ನಿರತೆ ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಧರ್ಮಸ್ತೆ ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ಮಯಿ ಸಂತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾಲಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ಓಮಿತ್ಯೇತದಕ್ಷರಮುದ್ಗೀತಮುಪಾಸಿತ ಓಮಿತ್ಯುದ್ಗಾಯತೆ ತೋಪವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರಣ ಆಶಯಾಸ ಇಸ್ ವೇದಾಂದೇಶು ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ಭಿನ್ನ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಶ್ರುತ ಉಪಲಭ್ಯಂತೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಮಜನ ಥೋಡೋ ಕೋಶ the earlier section of this second chapter dealt with the contradictions appearing with the other shruti other smriti is like sankhya vaisheshika etc so contradiction that appears between vedanta and those schools of thoughts were resolved in the first two padas of the second chapter now the next two padas are devoted to resolving the contradictions which appear to be within the upanishads themselves <coughs> and particularly the shrutis deal with creation srishti shruti creation is of two kinds one is creation of bhuta the five ma- elements panch mahabhutani and then also there is this creation of these jivas and the pranas so first is bhogtru and bhogya the jiva and the five elements become bhogya that's one class second is pranas the subtle body so this pada this vyad pada is going to deal with the creation contradictions in the creation between of the five elements and the atma and the second pada is going to deal with the the contradictions which appear to be in creation of the subtle bodies <coughs> then beginning with now the contradictions which obtain 
within the creation. So taking the Shrutis, Shrutis, the Shrutis are the passages of Upanishads dealing with the creation of the universe. Vedānteshu tatra tatra bhinna prasthāna utpatti śrutaya upalabhyante Vedānteshu in the Upanishads tatra tatra in various places bhinna prasthāna utpatti śrutaya The śrutaya, the passages of the śruti or Upanishad dealing with, dealing with creation, they seem to be referring to different kinds of creation or different manners of creation. Kejit Akashasya Utpattim Amanandri Haji Avad Mautasya Ke Barabhasya Haji Avad Mautasya Kejit Akashasya Utpattim Amanandri So some Shrutis are there which talk about the creation of space Kejit Na Vaigdam Na Na Taiva Whereas there are some which do not talk about the creation of space. So there are some passages of Upanishads, as in Taitiri Upanishads, which mention the creation of space, Utpatti of Akasha. There are passages such as in the Chandogya Upanishad, which do not mention the creation of space. <coughs> Tata kechit dvayaho Utpatti Amanandi kechit na. Similarly also again, Taitri Upanishad talks about the creation of Vayu, whereas Chandogya again does not mention the creation of Vayu also. <coughs> so this is the contradiction obtaining with reference to the creation of the five elements. Evam Jivasya Prananamcha Similarly also we find differences in the description of the creation of jiva as well as creation of prana or the subtle bodies. Even ever so as Ratnabha said, Sarve ete atmana vyucharanti di vajina. The Bhudarnika Upanishad says, Sarve ete atmana vyucharanti. All these jivas also emerge. Just as many sparks emerge from fire, so also many jivas emerge from Brahman. Meaning that the Prihudarnika Upanishad appears to be talking about the creation of jiva, whereas elsewhere there is not mentioned. Also prana. Etasma jayate prana iti. Amananti. Similarly, the followers of the Atharaveda in the Kaivalya Upanishad, we find Etasma Jayate Pranaha from Brahman, Prana is born. Elsewhere, we do not find the mention of creation of Prana. So, these are differences. Even if Kramadi Dvarakobi Vipratisheda Sutyantares Upalakshade. Eva Meva, in a manner similar to that. Kramadi Dvarakobi. Krama, as far as the sequence is concerned, so sequence of the five elements, for example, so Krama and Akrama. Somewhere the sequence is, somewhere there is no sequence. <coughs> So, evam akasha puryuka kvachit srishti kvachit tejaf puryuka yadi krama viroda. Somewhere it is said that the first element that is created is space, as in the Taitriya Upanishad. Somewhere it says the first element that is created is fire, as in the Chandogya Upanishad. Thus, there is a difference also in krama or the order of creation. Adipadat Sriman Lokan Asuja Krama. Somewhere there is no Krama or no sequence mentioned at all. It's an Aitari Upanishad which says 
that the Kriyishwara or Brahman created this lokas or worlds that there is no sequence mentioned. Kvachit Satya Pranaha Kvachit Ashtav Somewhere you find the mention of seven pranas, somewhere you find mention of eight pranas. Therefore, this section of the Brahma Sutra is devoted to resolving these apparent differences in the Shruti, Shruti statements. Why is it so? Bhashyakara said, iti vipratishedha shrutyan sarishu upalakshate vipratishedha, the internal contradiction, self-contradiction. So, let it be there. What does it matter? It says, no, no. Vipratishedacha parapakshanam anapekshitattvam sthapitam. Look, the argument that you have made so far in dismissing all the other pakshas, like the sankhyas, nayayikas, vaisheshikas, all of these are dismissed as not pramana. By showing the contradictions obtaining between them, as well as contradictions obtaining within themselves. So these contradictions became the basis of ignoring them or dismissing them as not pramana. And that's how the pramanya, the authenticity of Upanishads was established. So they can come back to you on the same ground. Says, Tadvat Svapakshasyabhi. What is Svapaksha? Brahma Karana Vada. What is Vedanta Paksha? Brahma Karana Vada. That Brahma is Jagat Karanam. That is our Vada. The Sankhyas would say that the Pradhanam is Jagat Karanam. Vaisheshikas would say that the five atoms are Jagat Karanam, etc. Thus, other people have their own perception of what the creation of cause of creation is, whereas what is Vedanta's perception that the cause of creation is Brahman and particularly the material cause. The material cause of creation is Brahman, the consciousness, changeless, infinite consciousness, satyam, jnanam, anantam, the truth, changeless, consciousness, infinite, that is the material cause. That is the Svapaksha. But then Svapaksha Syapi Vipati Shedhat. Then the Puru Pakshis will all point out the Vipati Shedha, the self-contradiction obtaining within the Vedanta or Upanishad also. Deva Anapayakshitattvam Asanketa. Therefore, in our own mind, they can create in our own mind a doubt that even our own position is not sound. That the conclusion that we draw that Brahma is Jagat Karanam also does not appear to be a sound conclusion. Because there are differences in the manner in which the process of creation is described. Sarva Vedanta Gada Srishti Srishti Shrutyartha Nirmalatvaya The Artha Nirmalatvaya It is necessary to clarify The Artha means purport here Not the Vachya, not the literal meaning Or what is the intended meaning So what is the meaning Intended by the Shruti Is consistent so what the Vedantin wants to establish is that even though there appears to be a difference in the literal meaning and still the intended meaning is the same. And that is important. The Tatparya is important. So 
what you say is may mean one thing literally but the intention by, by for uh, intention with which what you say is more important than what the literal meaning of what you say is so even though the different passages upanishads appear to describe creation in different ways and there were there appears to be a difference or even contradiction in the description but the intention of all the shrutis is to establish brahma as jagat karanam to establish the mithyatvam the unreality of creation satyatvam the reality of brahman so brahma satyam jagat mithya this is what is the purport the tatparya of all the upanishads in that there is consistency so we have to establish the consistency among all the shrutis and the vedantin says that even though there may appear not consistency as far as the word or literal meaning is concerned there is consistency as far as the tatparya the purport is concerned that's the whole thing here this is very intelligently done you know you can see how the pakshas are presented and the sutra is very nothing will make sense unless bhashyakara and then tikakara all of these will bring out what is involved in that it would be rather difficult for us to understand what is the line of argument what's going on here <coughs> so sarva vedanta gata srushti stuti artha in all the upanishads whatever passages are there delineating the creation that the artha the purport of all of them is one so tat artha nirmalatvam artha bhasa nivrutya this artha bhasa artha bhasa is what five elements are there three elements are there sequence is there sequence is not there etc etc so that is how the abhasa the literal meaning seems to be but we want to say that the literal meaning is not important the purport is important and that way the contradictions that are created by the literal meaning are removed in our mind then we are very clear that the upanishads are all consistent as far as, far as conveying the brahman as jagat karanam in that they are consistent that the srushti or creation is mithya in that they are consistent they may not be consistent in saying this every upanishad may have its own method of communicating how the creation is mithya every teacher has may have his own method all the what the different teachers of vedanta say would be saying but the teachers have their own way of communicating they give their own examples they have their own way of arguing in that way the teachers may appear to be different but important is where do they come from what is the intention with which they are saying this if the intention is the same meaning that they want to convey this vision of the shruti of brahma satyam jagan mithya and then it is all fine then you can enjoy the difference otherwise you are all confused so we get confused when we go to different teachers even in vedanta let apart let alone going to different teachers all kinds of schools of thought that is of course very confusing but even when you go to different teachers of vedanta they are also sometimes we do get confused because we feel that they seem to be aiming at different things and that way is important to ascertain that the purport the intention is the same what they ultimately intend to convey the same thing even though the method of communication communication may differ <coughs> here 
we look upon every Upanishad as a dialogue between a teacher and a disciple. The reason why there appear to be differences is the method of exposition of different Upanishads is because the teachers are different and the students also are different and therefore there is going to be a different method of exposition. And that creates confusion. In fact, there are many scholars who have come to conclusion that there is no consistency. They even see a development of thought. How this Upanishad is more ancient than the Upanishads. How the Upanishads thought also develop. What they were thinking earlier. And how they came to know different things. And how ultimately they came to this conclusion. So this kind of history. The history of the philosophical thought. You know. So this is how they say and that's how they do not see the need to establish that all Upanishads are the same intention. They don't. They are already convinced that Upanishads are not the same. That there is a sequence in Upanishads. That is also in order of the thought development. And so the Purhodhanika may say to the most ancient Upanishads and some of the other Upanishads may say to the recent, more recent Upanishads, you know. Just as Upanishads say to be more recent with reference to Karmakanda. So wherever you find difference in the Upanishad and Karmakanda, you say that, look, this is now, there is an evolution of thought. And this one now, see what the Karmakanda said is dismissed here. For example, in the Bible also, there is Old Testament and there is New Testament. And there are statements in New Testament that in fact dismiss what the Old Testament said. <laughs> the Old Testament would say that a tooth for an eye for eye and a tooth for a tooth. So if he takes away your eye, you take away his eye and if he takes away your tooth, you break his tooth. What does the New Testament say? If they give you slap on one cheek, hold the other cheek, you know. Altogether, Opposite. That's how the thought has developed, you know, from formally taking revenge or retaliating to submitting non violence. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just giving an example. So, because there is always an evolution of thought everywhere in the world, here also they see an evolution of thought. I'm saying all this so that when you read certain things, you may you know, find these things. <clears throat> but as far as the the devoted faithful are concerned, they, there is a need on their part to see or believe that there is consistency throughout in all the Upanishads. Because Upanishad as a whole body is looked upon as one pramana. So, as far as the tradition is concerned, different Upanishads are not looked upon as different from each other. They are looked upon as one body of knowledge. And the whole body of Upanishads is looked upon as pramanam, as the valid means of knowledge. And that can be so only if there is consistency. Samanvaya in what they say. So that is in fact the main task of Brahma Sutra is to establish Samanvaya consistency in the intention, intended meaning of all the Upanishads. So <coughs> Ved Ekadeshasya Virodhat apramanya. If only the Srishti Shrutis, the passages dealing with creation, because there appears to be a contradiction among them. And therefore, if they are dismissed as not Pramana, that means that one part of the Upanishads, the Srishti Shrutis, are not Pramana. The one part of Veda is not Pramana. <coughs> 
तदेकदेशांतरस्यापि तथे अप्रामाण्य शंकया देन हाउ कैन यू ट्रस्ट दैट श्रुति इज प्रमाण विथ रेफरेंस ब्रह्म इफ श्रुति इज नॉट प्रमाण वी कैन नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन दैट वेन इट कम्स टू द क्रिएशन हाउ कैन वी डिपेंड अपॉन दैट वेन इट कम्स टू ब्रह्मन ऑल्सो रेफर यदि शंकया तत् समन्वया therefore when there is resolving resolution of all the differences and when it is established that there is a consistency in the srushti shruti also so consistency must be there in all aspects of the upanishads tatva gnana siddhe so shraddha is shraddhavan labhate gnana shraddha is extremely important when there are doubts in your mind so that is called the pramana samshaya prameya and pramana so first of all the shravana is meant to establish the validity of pramana that all the upanishads are consistent in revealing or in delineating one topic that is brahman the non duality of brahman is the subject matter of all the upanishads <clears throat> so tatva gnana siddhe when the mind is resolved when it doesn't have any doubt then alone it is conducive to listen and receive the knowledge then alone the knowledge can take place not otherwise ब्रह्म कारण पक्ष से अनपेक्षणीय शंका निवृत्ति इज इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू रिजॉल्व द डाउट विथ रेफरेंस टू द कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन इन द क्रिएशन श्रुति देन ऑल्सो ऑटोमैटिकली द पैसेज इज डीलिंग विद ब्रह्म ऑल्सो दैट दे ऑल्सो स्टैंड एज कंसिस्टेंट इन दर अनपेक्षणी शंका निवृत्ति सो नौ देर अपियर टू बी सम डिफरेंस इज इवन विथ रेफरेंस टू ब्रह्म ऑल्सो दैट बींग द केस जस्ट बिकॉज डिफरेंस इज अपियर टू बी देर दे आर टू बी इग्नोर इन दैट केस दैट ब्रह्म का श्रुति ऑल्सो बी इग्नोर बट वेन नाउ वी आर कन वी हैव नाउ रिजॉल्व that all these shrutis dealing with the creation are consistent we are also resolved that all the shrutis dealing with brahman also are consistent the darshan nirmalatve phalati so this is the result of artha nirmalatvam of clarifying the purport that there is one purport behind the passages dealing with creation therefore there is one purport also behind passages dealing with brahman if this is not there in the creation in brahman passage also it may not be there therefore it is important therefore vasaka said sarva vedanta gada srushti stutyar shrutyar ta nirmalatva para prapancha arabhyate the next two padas are begin for that purpose तद अर्थ निर्मल फल वेन दस द क्लैरिफिकेशन इज मेड विथ रेफरेंस टू पर्पोर्ड ऑफ ऑल द पैसेज डीलिंग विथ क्रिएशन यथोक्त आशंका निवृत्ति एव ऑल योर शंका ऑल द डाउट्स विथ रेफरेंस टू अपेर एंड इनकन्सिस्टेंसीज आर रिमोट एंड दस द प्रामाण्यम द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ द उपनिषद इज एस्टाब्लिश्ड and that's how shraddha is established bhasya <clears throat> karakanya tatra prasam tavat aaka tavat aakasham aashitya chintyate to begin with then chintyate the deliberation is performed aakasham aashitya with reference to the subject matter of aakasha or the space speaking that is the subject matter first the deliberation is performed kim akashasya 
उत्पत्ति अस्ति उत नास्ति वेदर ही इज आकाश क्रिएटेड और नॉट क्रिएटेड दिस इज वॉट इट पर सब्जी सो आकाश सब्जेक्ट मैटर इज आकाश सृष्टि देन द डाउट इज आकाश से उत्पत्ति अस्ति उत नास्ति इज देर इज द स्पेस क्रिएटेड और नॉट क्रिएटेड Look at Ratna Brava, the last line on page 498. Atra agasasya utpatti anutpatti shrutyo ho mitho virodha asti navayati. Agasasya utpatti anutpatti shrutyo ho. The Samsuni passage, he talks about utpatti or creation of agasasya. as taitriya upanishad there is some passage which does not mention the creation of space as in the chandogya upanishad among the two mitho virodha asti nava should we conclude that they are talking different from each other should we conclude that what the taitriya upanishad says is different from what the chandogya upanishad says or they say the same thing even though there may be a difference in the description do they intend that the creation process is different a space is created and space is not created is that what the conclusion is so viro mitho virodha asti nava one position can be that there is mitho virodha mutual contradiction among the passages of taitriya upanishad and chandogya upanishad or nava or there is no difference meaning that the tatparya or purport of both are the same so question is whether tatparya or purport of taitriya and chandogya creation description is the same or not if it is the same then what sandeh यदि उत्पत्ति तदा वाक्य वाक्य भेद एक वाक्यत्वाभ्यां वाक्य भेद मीन्स वॉट वन वाक्य से इज वन थिंग अदर वाक्य से इज अनदर थिंग देर इज वाक्य भेद अर्थ भेद और एक वाक्यत्वाभ्यां और वर्द तैत्य से इज द सेम एज वर्द छंदोग्य से इज एक वाक्यता सो कन्वेइंग दी सेम आइडिया Are they conveying different ideas or conveying the same idea? That's the sandeh. So that's the the samsha, vishaya and samsha. Then comes puru paksha, then uttar paksha, and then siddhanta. Then that number continues. If the utpatti, so if you accept the utpatti or you accept the creation of space. Then what happens? The Chandogya does not mention the creation of space. That means that there is virodha or there is contradiction between these two sutras. Vakya bhede ne virodha. One vakya says one thing, other vakya says another thing. Therefore, there is virodha or contradiction between these two sutras. Understand this. If it is accepted that the space is created. then what the taitiro upanishad says is right but in as much as the chandogya does not mention the creation of space therefore what chandogya says contradicts what taitiro says and therefore there is a mutual contradiction between the two sutras then ap pramanyam if there is contradiction among the sutra itself then the shruti becomes a pramana at least the passages dealing with creation become a pramana then everything will become a pramana so understand that if creation space is created then the whole shruti shruti becomes a pramana idi purupaksh therefore anayoho so a pramana anayoho shruti idi purupakshayan 
What is Puru Paksha? Puru Paksha is that there is Virodha. Puru Paksha is that there is Virodha between the Shrutis. Uttar Paksha is that there is no Virodha. <coughs> Puru Paksha is in Adav Anutpatti Paksham Ekadeshi Grunnati. Now, what is Ekadeshi? Ekadeshi is a Vedantin who sees consistency, who wants to give Pramanya. So, Vedanta gives Pramanya to Upanishad. Ekadeshi means the Sudo Vedantin. Means that he also wants to prove the Pramanya of the Upanishad. The Pramanya is only when there is no Virodha between these passages. And Virodha will not be there, only space is not created. If space is not created, then Chandogya also says is not created. Then there is no Virodha. Then there is no contradiction. Then the passages are Pramana. Therefore, the Veda, Sudha Vedanta also wants to establish the Pramanya of the Shruti. But in his own way, not the way we want to establish. What is the Mukhya Siddhanta? How does Mukhya Siddhanta establish the Pramanyam? Mukhya Siddhanta also shows that there is no contradiction among the passages of Shruti. Why? There appears to be contradiction. And therefore Mukhya Siddhanta says that in as much as the passages dealing with creation have no purpose to, to give reality to creation, all of them are nothing but arthavada. All of them are meant only to support the non-duality of Brahman. Meaning that all of them want to have, they have only one purport, our intention is to establish that Brahma is Jagat Karana. And therefore, the Srishti is Mithya. So, description of the creation is not to give a real description that this is how creation really took place. So, it's not scientific. Vedanta is not scientific in that sense that the different Upanishads describe creation differently, not that they are giving different evolutions. But they want to say that Srishti is Mithya. So Vedanta does not have to prove itself to be scientific because science has a different goal and Vedanta has a different goal. Science has a goal to explain the matter. Vedanta has a goal to explain that. So science has a goal to discover the reality of matter. Vedanta has a goal to explain the reality of Brahman or consciousness. They were there, poles apart. That being the case, for Vedanta, the Shabda is a Pramana. For science, the Tarka is a Pramana. So science says, goes on the Nayayaka style. This is the Asta Vedanta. <coughs> anyway, that's by the way. So, we call this fellow Sudo Vedanta, even though he wants to prove the Pramanya of the Shruti, his method of proving is what? By showing that there is no Virodha. But that the creation is there, but there is no Virodha in creation. What the Sudo Vedantin wants to say is that the creation is there. However, there is no inconsistency among the Shruti. Therefore, he is not Mukhya Vedantin because Mukhya Vedantin just creation is not there. Therefore, they call it Ekadeshi. Understand why this fellow is called Ekadeshi. <coughs> so, Ekadeshi Grunnati. Looks like this Sudo Vedantin. He has the Paksha or the side of the Vedanta. But not really because he has not understood Vedanta completely. What we call Ekadeshi or Sudo Vedantin is a person who has not understood Vedanta Tatparya, the purport correctly. He is not understood that Vedanta wants to say that the Srishti is Mithya. That is not understood. Therefore, 
he says the Upanishads talk about Srishti, therefore there is Srishti and they are consistent, therefore they are Pramana. So therefore, Vashyakara, now come to page 499, okay. Tatritavate Pratipadnyate Naviyate Ashrutehe Iti Tatra. What is Tatra? When this Sandeha is there, when these two positions are there, whether there is Virodha or not, in that, Tatra Tavat Pratipadyate, then this Ekadeshi wants to say that there is no Virodha. But how does he say? Na Vyat Ashrute. He says the space is not created. Ashrute. Because there is no Shruti statement. So, that is explained. The Dakshirani Vyachaste, Bhashyakara explains the, the words of the Sutra, says. So, Na Vyad means what? Na Khalu Akasham Utpadyate. So, Na Vyad, Pratigna. Na Khalu Akasham Utpadyate. Indeed, the space is not created. So then we asked, Kasmat Ashutehe Nayasya Utpati Prakarane Shravanam Asti. Why do you say Ashutehe? He says that there is no Nay Asya Utpati Prakarane Shravanam Asti. Utpatti Prakarane. In the section dealing with Utpatti, the section dealing with creation of Upanishads, we do not find the mention of space as being created. Therefore, space is not created. Then he shows how it is not mentioned. He takes only Chandogya. So idea is that according to this Vedan, this Sudo Vedantin, Chandogya is the Mukhya Shruti and Taitri is the Gauni Shruti. That's what we'll come to. <coughs> Chandogya hi Sadeva Somya Idamagra Asid Ekameva Dvitiyam Iti Satchabdavacham Brahma Prakrutya Tadaikshada Tattejaha Asrujata Iticha Panchana Mahabhutana Madhyamam Tejaha Adinkratva Trayana Tejo Banana Putpatihi Shravyade. To illustrate Chandogyehi in the Chandogyo Punishes indeed Sadeo Somya Idamagrasi Ekameva Dvitiyam. He Somya, O good looking one. Idam, this universe of names and form, Sadev Asid, was nothing but Sat, Ekameva Dvityam, one without a second. Idi. Understand? Sat Shabdavacham Brahma. So apparently, Chandogya Upanishad uses the word Sat. Even though it's a Tattva Masi, that Tat means Sat, understand there, you know. We say Tat means Brahma, alright. But as far as Chandogya is concerned, the word is Sat, the Bhashyagara says, there was Sat Chabdavacham Brahma. So when the Chandogya Upanishad uses the word Sat, it means Brahma. Prakrutya, the word Brahma Prakrutya, the discussion here is Brahma. Sadeva Somya, 
First word is Sat. Although otherwise it should be that way. Idam, Agre, Ekameva, Tridyam, Sat Asi. That's how it should have been said. The Kartru, that is Idam. Idam, Agre, Ekameva, Tridyam, Sat Asi. This universe before its creation was Sat, one without a second. But what does it say? Sadeva Summe. That's why people are confused. They say there was only Sat, one without a second, you know. No, this was Sat. Anyway, so we have discussed all of this. So the thing is that Brahma Prakrutya. So Idam is not the Prakaranam. Brahma is prakara, Prakaranam. So Prakrutya means what? The subject means Brahman and not this creation. So Brahma Prakrutya. Tadaikshada. Then it says Tadaikshada. That Sat or Brahma, Aikshada. It deliberated. Bhushyam, Praja, etc. Tat Teja, Asrujata. And then Brahman, that is Sat, created Teja. The element fire was created. It is a Panchana Mahabhutanam. The five Mahabhutas are accepted. Akashvayu, all of these are accepted. Panchana Mahabhutanam Madhyamam. Among the five elements, the madhyavam, the middle one is what? Fire. Space, air, fire, water, and earth. Among these five, the fire is the middle one. So madhyavam, teja, adin kutva. Even though the element fire is third in sequence, and middle as far as the five elements are concerned, the chandogya upanishad, adin kutva, the chandogya upanishad, Mentions it first. Trayanam tejo bannanam utpatti shravyate. The utpatti, the creation only of the three elements. Tejaha ab anna. The fire, water, and earth. The creation of the three elements alone is we are made to hear that. So this is Jnaya Nyana. Akashasya Janma Ashravane Pi Katham Anumana Siddhata Dutpatti Apnu Hyedaiti Apaknu Yedaiti All right, we say that. Suppose Chandagya Upanishad does not mention specifically the creation of space. But by inference we can arrive at it. That the fire could not be created unless its cause air was there. And that could not be unless its cause space was there. So even though the Upanishad does not mention space in particular, specifically, by inference you can arrive at it. So how do you say that just because Chandogya does not mention the creation of space, how do you say that space is not created? So he says, next sentence, Shrutis Chaiti. Shrutis Naf Pramanam Adindriyatha Vijnanot Paktao. So understand, Anumanam is not our Pramana. You cannot arrive at by Anumanam what the Shruti doesn't say. And so, Shruti is the Pramana. Shruti is Chair, Naf Pramanam Adindriyatha Vishay. <coughs> For gaining the knowledge of that which is beyond the sense perception, as far as the <coughs> objects which are the objects of sense perception are concerned, you do not require Shruti. The perception, inference, this is the pramana available to us for ascertaining the the understanding what the objective world is. When it comes to the topics of subject matter or the aspects which are beyond the sense perception, at that time Shruti becomes Pramana. So here also, whether space is created or not, 
How, who can say? You can't determine with your perception. So perception, inference, etc. available to you are not available for determining whether space is created or not. Therefore, in those kind of matters, subject matters, Upanishad alone becomes a pramana. And Upanishad does not mention the creation of space. Then we would accept that space is not created. That's all. So then it says here, Tarihi Sutra Vasti Iti Ashankya. But then is Shruti, which talks about creation of space. What about that? It says, Gauni Iti Suchitam. So, there were next sentences. Nachatra Shruti Asti Akasasya Utpatti Pradipadini. Right now it doesn't mention what Shruti is there, but then as Ratnava says, Utpatti Shruti Mukhya Nasti Gudabi Sandhi. The hidden intention. When this fellow says, Nachatra Shruti Asti, Akasasya Utpatti Pratipadini Shruti Nasti. In fact, in the Upanishad, there is no statement which talks about the creation of space. Everybody knows it talks. Everybody knows that Taitri Upanishad talks about creation of space. Even then, this person says that there is no statement of Shruti which establishes the creation of space. Meaning thereby that what the Taitri Upanishad says is not to be taken in a primary sense. So even though Taitri Upanishad appears to be talking about the creation of space, it doesn't mean that, you know. So Utpatya Shruti Mukhya Nasti Iti Gudhavi Sandhi Unless we understand this, you don't know how the arguments are following, you see. So how the Vedanta Ekadeshi is thinking? With what kind of thinking he is presenting arguments? What the Purupakshi is thinking? And what are the Mukhya Siddhanta? There are three fellows here now, not two. Normally there are two persons. One is the Purupakshi, other is Siddhanta. In between here there is what we call Ekadeshi. So which sutra belongs to whom? That should be understood. The Navyat Ashrute is a sutra said by Ekadeshi. What does Ekadeshi want to do? He wants to establish the consistency and pramanya of the Shruti. Unfortunately, in that process, he gives a reality to creation. That is why he is not accept. He one part is acceptable that Shruti is pramanam. For the part that this creation is really not acceptable, he is called Ekadeshi. You know. In part, he agrees with us. In part, he is not with us. That's for Ekadeshi. <coughs> So says Nyaya Nirna, Taitriya Shrute, Gaunatvat, Anyasya, Amukhyatvat, Namitho Virodastiti Upasamharati. Because it is Gauni, therefore it is not Mukhya, therefore there is no Virodha. There cannot be Virodha between Mukhya and Amukhya. <coughs> so the last sentence is, Tasmat, Na, Asti, Akashasya, Utpatti iti Tasmat Akashasya Utpatti Nasti iti Therefore, because it's Gauni, Gauni will come later. Keeping that in mind, he says, as yet he has not said it openly, but keeping that in mind, he says, therefore, space is not created. <coughs> Now going to the next one, says Ratna Brava, Samprati Purupakshati Sutra Karaha. The Purupaksha of the Vedanta Ekadesh understand this, you know. Now Sutra Kara presents as the Purupaksha. To what this one say? He says, Na Vyat Ashrute He. Space is not created because there is no Shruti statement talking about creation of space. So to that, the Sutrakara Siddhanti becomes a Purupakshi, meaning questions the statement, questions his statement that there is no Shruti statement 
talking about creation of space. Who says that? So, next one says, Astido. Astido. It is there. What is Asti? Tu means Pakshantara Parigrahartham. So, there is another Paksha. What is that? Asti Chandogye Akashotpatti Shruti Abhavevi Sashruti Taitriya Ke Vidyate. So, even though the Chandogye, so it is a Puro Pakshi. Puro Pakshi now, what is Puro Pakshi? Puro Pakshi wants to show that there is contradiction. The Vedantin wants to show non contradiction. And the Puro Pakshi wants to show contradiction. So Puro Pakshi says, hey, you are not right in saying that there is no passage talking about creation of space. There is a passage, a statement in Tu Taitriya Upanishad, Astitu. Therefore, Virodha is there. The Puro Paksha remains. That means that Taitriya and Chandogya contradict each other. Therefore, there is internal contradiction. Therefore, this is not Praman. That's the Puro Paksha. <coughs> Sutram Vyakurvan Purupaksham Vivrunati. Explaining Sutra, the Purupaksha is now explained by Vashyagara. Vashyagara says, Tushabdaha Pakshantara Parigrahe Astitu. So, Tushabdaha Pakshantara Parigrahe. What is one Paksha? One Paksha is that there is no Shruti statement talking about the creation of space. What's the other paksha? There is Shruti statement talking about the creation of space. So this person prefers that. Paksha, tu shabda, pakshantara parigraha. This other person who is the Puru Pakshi prefers that there is a statement in Taitiri Upanishad talking about the creation of space. Manama Akashasya Chandogye Bhut Utpatthi Shrutyantare Tu Asti Akashasya Chandogye Utpatthi Mahabhut All right? That in Chandogye Upanishad, the there is no mention of the creation of space. May it be, let it be. Shruti but the other Shruti, where there is a very clear mention of the creation of space. <coughs> so, which is that Shruti? He explains here. Taitriya kahi samamanante Satyam jnana manantam brahma iti prakrutya tasmadva e tasmadatmanah akasha sambhutah iti So Taitriya kaha means what? The followers of the Taitriya recension of the Veda. They, Samamananti, they read like this, Satyam Jnana Anandam Brahma, for the Upanishad says, Brahman is Satyam Jnanam Anandam. Satyam means truth, Jnanam, knowledge or consciousness, Anandam, infinite. Tasma iri prakrutya. So beginning, the discussion has begun with this mention. Then it says, Tasmadva, Yetasmad, Atmanaha, Akasha, Sambhutaha. Tasmadva, Yetasmad, Tasmad, from that Brahma, which is Satyam Jnanantam, Yetasmad, which is this Atma, Atmanaha, Akasha, Sambhutaha. From Atma, which is Brahman, Akasha, emerged. So, interesting thing is, 
Why does Bhashyakara mention Satyam, Jnana, Anandam, Brahma? It's not part of creation, Shruti. Tasmadva, Itasma, Ratmana, Akasha, Sambhuta. That's all should have been stated. Why Satyam, Jnana? So say that, Jnana, Jnana, Sarva, Namartha, Jnapanartham, Pura, Vakya, Anukramanam. Tasmadva, what is Tasma? Sarva, Nama is there. So what's the meaning of Tasma? From that, so to help us understand what is that, Satyam Jnana Manandam. That, that Brahman is Satyam Jnana Manandam, which is Jatma, therefore, Sarva, Gnya, Sarva Nama Artha Jnana Panartham. To explain the meaning of Sarva Nama, the, 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 the Tasmat, <coughs> Pura Vakya Anukramanam. So Pura Vakya is stated there, okay. Therefore, continues, Tataschya Shrutyoho Vipratishedaha Kvachita Tejaf Pramukha Shrustihi Kvachita Akasha Pramukha Ite Tataschya, when this is the case, Shrutyoho Vipratishedaha, there is the Contradiction between the two Shruti is Chandogya and Brada and the, and the Taitriya. Kvachit Tejas Pramukha Shrustihi. In Chandogya Upanishad, the creation is said to begin with the element fire. Kvachit Akasa Pramukha In Taitriya Upanishad, the creation is said to begin with the element space. And there were Shrutyo Vipradisheda Asti. There is a contradiction between the statements of these two Shrutis. <coughs> that is basically what Puru Paksha wants to say. Wants to prove the contradiction. The contradiction is not Praman. Not Praman and then you dismiss the whole thing, you know. And Vedantin wants to prove the consistency. <coughs> So says Nyayana, right? Pramanyasya autsarga katvat virodena pramanya ayogat ega vakyataya kathanchit pramanyam eshta vir sangade. Pramanyasya autsarga katvat. That the Veda is pramanam completely. That's the general statement, the Veda is pramanam. Upanishad being the part of Veda also is Pramanam. And Srishti Shruti, the passages dealing with creation also, being part of Upanishad, also are Pramanam. So therefore, that statement applies to everybody. Virodena, Pramanya Ayogat. But now, there is Viroda, the contradiction between these two statements. Therefore, Upanishad loses his Pramanam, Srishti Shruti. And that we don't like. Therefore, ek vakyataya kathanjit pramanya mishtavyam. So we tell him, so why don't you somehow see, why do you want to insist upon the contradiction? Why do you not resolve the contradiction? And so that the ek vakyata, the same idea is, con- con- is conveyed by the two truth is, it is important. See, if what you say is true, then the Upanishad loses pramanya. That's not right. But somehow, we must explain the two Shruti so that there is no contradiction. And so, says Nanu, or Ratna Brava says, Eka Vakya Tvena Pramanya Sambhave Kimiti Shruto Yo Shruto Ap Pramanya Miti. So why not, it, why not you show how the two statements convey the same, they have the same purport. In that way, there will be Pramanya. And so, it is not right that you are accepting an Pramanya. So he says, this, that's what he said here. Nanu eka vakyata anayoho shutyoho yukta. So you are him. So look, the Upanishad is pramana. Then in the case, eka vakyata, these passages must necessarily convey the same idea, then only Upanishad become pramana. So that should be a paksha that is taken. Then why are you taking this paksha? 
So the position that should be adopted is that there is no contradiction. Why do we adopt the position of contradiction? So when he says, Satyam Sayukta Natusa Avagantum Shakyate. So Puru Paksha, you are right. We also want to see the consistency, but we don't know how to see it. When there is open inconsistency, we do not say how to see Ekavakyata or consistency among these Shrutis. If you could see it, we would have accepted it, but we don't know how to see it. Sa avagantum na shakyade. We do not know how to arrive at the Ekavakyata or the consistency between these passages. <coughs> Sambhavati eka vakyatve tad bheda naishyade. He says, if eka vakyata was possible, we would not have accepted the difference. But then, we don't see, they are openly contradicting each other. Then, we ask this question, Kutaha, why do you say that it is not possible to establish the Ekavakyata? Then he explains. Tatteja Asrujata Iti Sakruchutasya Srashtuhu Sastavyadvayana Sambandha Anupapatte Tatteja Asrujata Tadakasham asrujata iti. So Kutaha, why do you say that? We say. We say that why not that the creator first created Akasha and then created Teja. So simple to see that both of them talk about the same, even though Chandogya does not mention space. Why not you understand this way? That because Taitya Upanishad mentions the creation of space therefore, we can understand that creator first created space and then created fire. Why not that way? <coughs> so Purupakshi says, Tat Teja Asujayadi. But you see, creator is only one. Tat Teja Asujata. That means what the creator created the element fire. Iti sakrat shutasya srashtuhu. Srashta or the creator is one. Srashtavya dvayana. And the two things that were created, akash and, the, and fire. So one srashta cannot be connected with the two things to be created. Srashtavya dvayana sammada anupattehe. Either he created space, what did he create? So Taitriya says created space. Chandugya has created fire. He, one of them must be right. Therefore, one created could not possibly have created two things. He could have created only one thing. Therefore, karta vidvayana sammandaha na drushyade. Two kartavya, what is created, are two things. Therefore, one created cannot be, cannot be the creator of both these two things. Tat teja asujada, tat akasam asujada iti, same creator, creator created space and same creator created fire. One creator cannot do these two things, he can do only one thing. Okay, he cannot create two things, but he can create two things in sequence. One creator can not create two things simultaneously, but he can create two things in sequence, is it not? So says, Nanu. Sakrashutasyabe Kartuhu Kartavyadvayana Samando Drishade Yatha Supam Paktva O Dharam Pachiti Evam Tata Akasham Sustva Tata Tejaha 
asujata iti yojayashyami so vedanin says we will tell you how to find consistency between the two sakur sutasya api kartu kartavya dvayana sambandha drushyate we find our day to day life that one person can do two things how not simultaneously but in sequence yatha supam paktva odanam pachati having created soup soup means curry not this soup but curry having having cooked the curry then he cooks rice so one creator connected with two created things you say that one creator cannot be connected with two created things space and fire but we will show how how having having cooked the soup or curry he cooks the rice evam tad akasham sushtva tat teja asrujate iti similarly why not that the creator first created space and then created fire then everything will be fine so taittiri upanishad describes earlier stage of creation chandogya describes later stage of creation but it is the same creator is talk that tat is the same atma and sat are the same and so why not you look at that way <coughs> vipratishedavadi the fellow wants to establish the contradiction he do say he he finds fault with his argument his argument that maybe space and fire were created in sequence this puro pakshi finds a defect in his argument what did he say naivam yujyate no no that is not possible ab pramanyavadi dushati is ab pramanyavadi call him or so virod uh, pratishedavadi you can call him or puro pakshi you can call him रत्नमरा सेट द सेम नेम आई थिंक एकस्य युगपत कार्य द्वय संबंधे भी क्रमेण संबंध संभवात एक वाक्य रहति मुख्य सिद्धांति संगते द एक वाक्य इज पॉसिबल वी एक्सेप्ट अ सीक्वेंस सो दैट इज नाउ द अप्रामाण्यवादी शोस देयर इज अ डिफेक्ट इन योर थिंकिंग नियम युज्यते दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल व्हाट नियम युज्यते से रत्न क्रमो न युज्यते evam yujyate meaning krama this kind of creation one after the other is not tenable why dvayoho shuddha prathamya manga patte iti dvayoho shuddha prathamya look taitri upanishad says that the space is first created chandogya says that fire is first created so prathamya also is that if you accept sequence then pratham will be contradicted you follow if you in say that akash is created first and fire is created later but then chandogya says that first fire is created and taitiriya says first akash is created so you need to you need to abandon that part to interpret the sequence you to abandon the prathamyam that what is first created aspect will be abandoned so there will be contradiction then so that's what the bhashya says prasam yatvam hi chandogye tejasah avagamyate taitiryake taitiryake cha akashasya chandogye tejasah prasam yatvam avagamyate when we read the chandogya upanishad we arrive at this conclusion that teja of fire is first created taitriya ke when we read taitriya upanishad we understand that akasha is created first so if you accept sequence then prathamyam has to be discarded that's not right <coughs> so the different kind of contradiction still remains anyway if you try to resolve one contradiction you have created another contradiction <coughs> then says ratnabrava 
ಏಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ದ್ವಿದಲ ಬೀಜಾದ್ ದಲದ್ವಯವತ್ ದಲದ್ವಯವತ್ ಅಸ್ತು ಉಭಯ ಪ್ರಥಮಜ ಇತಿ ಅತಃ ಸೊ ವಿ ಗಿವ್ ಎ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹೌ ಸೊ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸೀಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ದಲ ಡೈ ಡೈ ಕಾಟಿ Uh, monocotyl is on dicotyl all right so meaning that one seed has potential of two trees so sometimes you find that from one seed two branches are coming right together you know usually there's only one stem but in some trees you find two stems simultaneously because that's the dwidala in that seed in fact two trees were there the potential of two so in one seed two seeds were there therefore so it is it is possible that two things can be simultaneously created so also brahman created simultaneously akash and space <coughs> so prasamyam that they were created first also is sir and that both of them are created also is okay <coughs> and so to that the pura paksha answers nacha ubhayo ho ಪ್ರಸಮಿ akasha two akashas can be created same thing can be created but two different things can be first because says taitriya further says vayo agni taitriya says akashad vayo vayo agni so therefore taitriya doesn't say that akash and agni are created together it says that agni is created after akash so therefore both of them cannot have prasamyam they can be created the so both of them cannot the initial they can be the first elements created so why agni the krama shruti bhanga to accept both of them created simultaneously then you are discarding or you are abandoning this other shruti which says there is a sequence of space air fire etc okay we will continue tomorrow ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾನರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇವಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾ ಶಾಂತಿ ಹರಿ ಓ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ